that there's thousands of people all over the world that are trying to do what they can to save our, our world. And I thought, well, I don't know how to talk to you know, these world leaders. I don't know how to talk to a movement. But I just was a mom. I mean, maybe I can talk to my daughter. I can tell her what I would want her to know when she grows up about how hard we're fighting for her generation, for this world, for her world, for our islands. Dear Mata Filipino, you are a seven-month-old sunrise of gummy smiles. You are bald as an egg and bald as the Buddha. Your thighs that are thunder, shrieks that are lightning, so excited for bananas, hugs, and our morning walks along the lagoon. Dear Mata Filipino, I want to tell you about that lagoon. That lucid, sleepy lagoon lounging against the sunrise. Men say that one day, that lagoon will devour you. They say it will gnaw at the shoreline, chew at the roots of your breadfruit trees, gulp down rows of sea walls, and crunch through your island's shattered bones. They say you, your daughter, and your granddaughter too will wander, rootless, with only a passport to call home. Dear Mata Filipe, don't cry. Mommy promises you, no one will come and devour you. No greedy whale of a company sharking through political seas. No backwater bullying of businesses with broken morals. No blindfolded bureaucracy gonna push this mother ocean over the edge. No one's drowning, baby. No one's moving. No one's losing their homeland. No one's gonna become a climate change refugee, or should I say no one else. To the Carteret Islanders of Papua New Guinea and to the Taro Islanders of the Solomon Islands, I take this moment to apologize to you. We are drawing the line here because we, baby, are going to fight. Your mommy, daddy, boo-boo, Jimma, your country, and your president, too, we will all fight. And even though there are those hidden behind platinum titles who like to pretend that we don't exist, who like to pretend that the Marshall Islands, Tuvalu, Kiribati, Maldives, Typhoon Haiyan in the Philippines, the floods of Algeria, Colombia, Pakistan, and all the earthquakes and hurricanes and tidal waves didn't exist. Still, there are those who see us. Hands reaching out, fists raising up, banners unfurling, megaphones booming, and we are canoes blocking coal ships. We are the radiance of solar villages. We are the fresh, clean soil of the farmer's past. We are petitions blooming from teenage fingertips. We are families biking, recycling, reusing, engineers dreaming, designing, building, artists painting, dancing, writing, and we are spreading the word. And there are thousands out on the street, marching hand in hand, chanting for change now. And they're marching for you, baby. They're marching for us. Because we deserve to do more than just survive. We deserve to thrive. Dear Mata Filipino, you are eyes heavy with drowsy weight. So just close those eyes and sleep in peace because we won't let you down. You'll see.